to today's teaching, which is being presented to you by For Those Who Choose Incorporated. My name is Anisha Tillman, and today I have with me the co-founder and lead teacher of For Those Who Choose, Elder Aaron Cook. Good morning. Along with Diane Woolware, who was also part of our teaching team. Amen. Today, we will begin a new series under the Rediscovering the Kingdom umbrella of topics. Amen. Amen. Over the next four weeks, we will be focusing on understanding the nature, nature. of the kingdom. The nature wow. of the kingdom. The nature, nature wow. of the kingdom. Nature. Amen. Our goal over these next four weeks is to understand how the kingdom of God functions mm -hmm. and the attitudes that Christ wants us to have wow. as we become citizens of this kingdom. Wow, that's wow. good. That's good. Now, as we've stated in previous weeks, all of our teaching materials are based on the studies and resources of the late, great Dr. Dr. Miles Monroe. Amen. 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 For those of you who are joining us live today, we ask that you join the conversation. Yes. All throughout this session, we ask that you share your thoughts and questions with us. And at the end of each session, we always have an open forum discussion period. It is the time that we will respond to any questions that you may have online. Our desire is that you walk away from these teachings with the knowledge mm -hmm. and understanding Amen. that Amen. will allow you to do or apply right. what you are learning in your everyday life. Amen. Amen. Remember how the parable of the sower, which is in the book of Matthew chapter 13, Jesus explained that the seed is the word of God and how the wicked one, which is Satan, he tells how Satan comes immediately mm -hmm. and steals the word of the kingdom mm -hmm. when you don't understand it. Right. He don't send his demons, he comes himself to steal the That's word right. of the kingdom. Yes. Therefore, please don't leave this session today without having Thorough, having a thorough understanding mm -hmm. of everything Amen. we discussed. That's Amen. Right. Right. So Good please point. join the conversation. Type your questions or comment in the comment section. Yes. And we have a team of people Amen. who will be able to share them with us. Amen. Also, if you don't mind, hit the like and the share button while you are here. Yes. Share this message with others who may want to learn more about the kingdom. It's for those who choose. Amen. 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 <laughs> now, let's officially open up our session in prayer. And I'm going to ask my father, Elder Aaron, to open us up in prayer. Amen. 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 Let us pray. <clears throat> and also, you at home, pray with us. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, we come Lord. to you, Lord, giving you thanks and praise. We thank you, Father, so yes, much Lord. for your goodness. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you for your kindness. Yes. We thank you for your mercy, Lord. Yes. Father, we thank you that each, each and every day, Lord, and week and month, that you continue to order our steps. For the scripture says that the steps of a good man are yes. ordered by you. Yes. And Father, we know that as long as we continue to submit our will to do your will, then you'll delight in our way. Yes. Father, we ask that you test the speaker this day, Lord. Touch each and every one of us, Thank Sister you, Diane, you, Sister Lord. Nisha, and myself, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Speak through our vocal cords, think through our mind, illustrate yes. through our bodies, Father, that which you desire for us to have. Yes, yes. And so, Father, right now, we release ourselves in your yes, presence. Yes. But, Father, we know without a doubt that you can do all things exceeding yes. abundantly above yes. anything, Hallelujah. anything that we could ever ask, think, or even imagine yes. according yes. to the yes. power that working within us. Yes. We ask that the Spirit of God have the right of way in this teaching yes. to send increase in the wisdom of your word, yes, of the Lord. kingdom, increase in health, yes, increase Lord. in finances. Yes, but Father, you said that you pray above all things, above anything else, yes. that we would prosper, yes. that we would be in health, yes. even as our soul prospers. Yes. And Father, also ask that you test each and every person, yes. Lord, that's watching this, and those of us who are here, Lord, yes. that may yes. be sick, Lord, just yes. by your spirit, oh, Lord, and heal them. Yes. Father, you said, I'll restore your health. Yes. I'll heal all of your wounds. Yes. Said the Lord, yes. God of Israel. Yes. And so, Father, we believe it and we, we receive it right yes. now, Lord. Yes. Have your way in this Have teaching. Yes. And, Father, we'll always be extra careful to give you the praise and to give you the glory. Yes. In Jesus' name. And everybody say, thank you, God. Thank, thank you, God. And amen. And amen. 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 Amen.
Now, let's begin <laughs> week one of our series, Understanding the Nature of the King. The nature of the King. The nature, nature of the King. Wow. The nature, the nature of the King. The nature. Wow. Again, in this second series, we're going to focus on the nature of the kingdom. And we want you to have a clear understanding so that there is no room for error no. or misunderstanding. We Amen. just talked about that because misunderstanding can be a very dangerous, dangerous. thing. It is. Yes. It is. So let's look at the definition of nature because we're talking about the nature of the kingdom for these next yes. few weeks. Mm -hmm. And I want you at home to know what it is that we're going to be discussing and talking about Amen. for these next Amen. few weeks. So nature, in the context that we're using it, mm -hmm. is defined as the basic or inherent features of something, especially when seen as a characteristic. Wow. Mm -hmm. So in short, we're going to be talking about essential qualities, attributes, and characteristics of something Amen. or of mm -hmm. the kingdom. Amen. Amen. We want to know how it moves, mm -hmm. how it breathes, mm -hmm. how it functions, wow. what is it made of. These are all the things that we're going to be talking about when we use the word nature in this yes. series. Yes. So essentially, we can say during this series that we will be talking about the inherent qualities and characteristics and attributes mm -hmm. of the kingdom wow. of God. Wow. 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 That's wow. Awesome. That is awesome. This is going, I'm telling you, this is going to be exciting. Be exciting. And yes, I yes. hope you tune in each week so you can learn about this mm -hmm. kingdom and how you as a citizen are to operate in this kingdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. when yes. you go, when you go into, even when you come into the United States of America mm -hmm. from another country, you go through the naturalization process. Right, right. Yes. And you have to learn what the country, you learn about the history mm -hmm. of the country, mm -hmm. right. you learn about the laws of the country, right. you learn about the benefits that you have as a citizen right. of that right. country. Right. So why not if the kingdom is the most important kingdom? Mm -hmm. Is more important than the United States, and we're mm -hmm. citizens of that kingdom. Right. Why not study it right. and you, figure out what it is and what it's all and, about? And those people that are coming in have to learn about the Constitution right. you know, of the United States. And the Constitution, well, our Constitution is the Bible. Amen. Amen. But a Constitution Amen. really are principles that govern a nation, a state, or a corporation. You know, and, and it teaches them how you act. Mm -hmm. How you think, mm -hmm. the things that are correct, the things that are proper, the things that are not proper. Right. But they're basically principles, and we know also that principles are keys. Right. Amen. 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 So I want to start off by telling you something. And what I'm about to tell you is evident to anyone who's living on the earth today. Mm -hmm. The danger of living in this earth is becoming more and more frequent and it more is. prevalent. It is. Yeah. It seems to be no stability in the world today. Mm. Mm. Every day you can turn on the news yeah. and find out some sort of devastation yeah. has happened someplace mm -hmm. in the world. And sometimes yeah. I don't even turn on the news. Right. Because of that. Yeah. Because of yeah. that. Yeah. And yeah. just last weekend here in Baltimore, it was reported that 12 shootings had taken place mm -hmm. between Friday and Saturday. Wow. And nine of, or I think seven of those ended up in death out of those 12. There are increasing cases being reported of mm -hmm. school shootings in our across the world, mm -hmm. not to even just in our state or in our country, mm -hmm. and altercations and fights between right. teachers and right. their yes. students. Never right. seen nothing. Never it seen it. It's becoming more and more prevalent. It is. Yes. And, it and, is. And last week on the news, the the number one priority on the well, wasn't the number one, but it was one of the priorities was whether. The security guards in the school should have guns or not. Yes. And they yes. were voting on that all week. Yes. And some of the people were for it. Even some of the police were saying, yes, we we should. And then some people were saying, well, that's not really what school is mm -hmm. for. But mm -hmm. when you look at the magnitude of the killings and the fightings between the students and the teachers, and then just let, a couple weeks ago, uh, someone went into the building and shot a, I think it was a teacher. It was somebody. a teacher, yeah. Yeah. Yep. You know. So they need some kind of protection. And you would never think that at this point, mm -hmm. the things that we went through as African Americans trying to learn how to get an education, that we would be going through this now. Right. In the school right. system where people are getting a free education. Right. Free. Right. You know, and I mean, if you just think, it's just crazy. Oh, it it's is. just crazy. It, really it is. is. You know, that's why you definitely need the kingdom. 
That's right. Amen. 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 That's right. In the earth. In the earth. That's right. This wow. world is just so unpredictable. It yes. is. You can even be rich one day mm -hmm. and poor the next. And we heard many stories about that. Right. We've heard a <laughs> lot of stories about that different people. Yeah. There is no way you can live in the world that we live in today mm -hmm. and not trust in a God that is bigger than this world. Come on. You need to say that again. Amen. There is absolutely no way, no way. Mm -hmm. that you can live in the world that we live in today Amen. and not trust in a God that is bigger than this world. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just over a month ago, over 800,000 people across the U.S. were not working mm -hmm. due to the government shutdown. Wow. And people were becoming erratic. You, I was talking to people. I was even talking to some of my parents at school. And you can hear mm -hmm. the worry and the nervousness in their voices. Right. They couldn't pay their bills mm -hmm. or feed their families mm -hmm. or live the life that they were just accustomed to living. Mm -hmm. wow. And this shutdown didn't just affect the government workers. Right. But it affected businesses, which in turn affected the people who patronized or purchased things from that business. Right. And I remember one, more, one morning as I was getting ready for work, mm -hmm. I was watching the news and I saw one business that had to throw out tons and tons of their product mm -hmm. because before it could be sold, it had to be tested by the FDA, FDA right. wow. and food wow. administration. Mm. Wow. And because they weren't working, they couldn't sell their stuff, yeah. so they had to throw it away, wow. and they lost a lot of millions yeah, of dollars. Yeah, a lot of people lost uh, a lot of food and money. Yeah. You know, yeah, a lot of money. So you know, so we see that the world systems are not working. They're not working. They're not working. Not working. They're yeah. not working. God did not design humanity to rely on the world system. Exactly. Right. Amen. If we. The word of God tell us to seek ye first the kingdom mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and his righteousness. Yes. Yeah. And he said yeah. he will add and all things. things God saying. is a God. He cannot lie. That's he right. cannot. That's he right. will he not. Cannot. And you see the systems aren't working. They're, They're not, not working. 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 They're not working. Working. Okay. working anywhere is unstable. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if you don't put your trust in God mm -hmm. and you put your trust in horses and chariots, mm -hmm. They're going to fail you every single, every time. single time. Every single time. Every single time. What we want to talk to you about today is a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Yes. Amen. One that is not built on the U.S. government. Come on. It's not built on the instability of a business Come or on. even your country's economy. Amen. Yes, sir. We're talking about a kingdom that is stable in the midst of all the instability That's in right. the world today. Amen. And as a matter of fact, that is why God did not send us a religion. That's Come right. on. Come See, on. religion cannot keep you in chaos. That's right. God did not send us a religion or even an economy to build our faith on. That's right. Come on. He sent us a kingdom a to kingdom. be a part of. A he sent us a kingdom. A kingdom that has no end. That That's has right. no end. Uh-oh, right. I'm getting very wrong. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? Guess what? We don't have to wait for that kingdom. No. Nope. That kingdom is in existence right now. Right it's available, now. Right it's available now. to right you now. right now. Right now. You should be excited about this because you no longer have to live in fear mm -hmm. or doubt. You don't have to worry about your next paycheck. Right. You don't even have to worry about the status of employment at your job right. because there is a greater government right. at work. Amen. And when you are a citizen of that kingdom, a, a citizen of that government, you can rest assured mm -hmm. knowing that you are covered. Amen. You can have peace in the midst of the storm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So again, we're going to be talking about the nature of this kingdom mm -hmm. and the attitude that Christ wants us to have as mm -hmm. we become citizens in this kingdom. Amen. The very goal of God sending mm -hmm. Jesus Christ to the earth was mm -hmm. very simple. The first part of the goal was to reintroduce the kingdom of God on earth mm -hmm. and to do it through mankind. We Amen. talked about that a lot yes, over this we series. Did. We did. Secondly, Jesus came to restore the righteousness and holiness of mankind, mankind. back to the earth. Amen. We discussed that extensively in our last series mm -hmm. as well. Yes, Thirdly, he came to restore the Holy Spirit back into mankind. Mm -hmm. Fourthly, he came to retrain mankind to think just like God. Mm -hmm. wow. Fifth, he came to restore the kingdom rulership of God on earth mm -hmm. through mankind. 
And finally, he came to return the kingdom of heaven to God's earthly king. Amen. Who is his earthly king? You, you teach we, are. We, are. We, are. we are. We are. We are. You are. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. So throughout this series, we're going to further investigate each of these statements. And so again, stay tuned and keep watching. Don't miss not one week of these series. And if you miss it, that's why we're doing them on Facebook and Instagram that's so right. that you can go back and see that's them. Right. Over and over. The kingdom is the issue on the mind of God, mind of God, not a religion. If you notice the words that are in the list of goals that we just talked about, the goals of Jesus and the mm -hmm. goals that he came to achieve, mm -hmm. all are including the words that have the prefix re. Mm -hmm. He came to reintroduce and restore the righteousness and holiness mm -hmm. of mankind. Amen. He came to restore the Holy Spirit. He came to restore the kingdom rulership of God on earth. Amen. He came to return the kingdom of heaven, to, the kingdom of heaven to God's earthly king. Mm. Now, re is a prefix that means to go back to the original state go back. or back. to do it over again. Amen. So in essence, each one of these statements is telling us that Jesus came back so that we could go back to the original state mm -hmm. that mankind was in Amen. when God first created That's them. Right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Now, each one of these statements are a sermon in itself, mm -hmm. and each one must be explained in detail because, Amen. again, we don't want you to have any misunderstanding mm -hmm. of anything that we're saying because if you don't understand it, mm -hmm. Satan himself will come mm -hmm. and snatch yeah. it away from you. Just started off talking about that right. so we must these must be explained in detail in order for us to be reconditioned mm -hmm. and properly retaught amen. amen now again the first goal that we talked about was jesus came to reintroduce the kingdom of god to man on earth mm -hmm. and he does that as soon as he as he begins his earthly ministry mm -hmm. and i want to ask brother aaron my father to go ahead <laughs> I have two scriptures for you. Can we read Matthew 4, mm -hmm. verses 12 through 17? Okay. And then we're going to go to Mark, the first chapter, verses 14 and 15. So the first Amen. one is Matthew 4, 12 through 17. Amen. And you go there too at home. Matthew 4, 12 through 17. And then we're going to read Mark 1, four, verses 14 through 15. Amen. All right. And it reads as such. Now, when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the sea coast in the borders of Zebulun and Nephilim, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun and the land of Nephilim, by the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people which sat in darkness saw great light. And to them which sat in the region in shadow of death, light is sprung up. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Wow. Amen. Amen. And now we're going to go to Mark um, 1. Verses 14, 14 through 15. 15. Amen. 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 And it reads as such. Now, and after that, John was put in prison. Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, which is his government. That's right. And saying, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Amen. 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 Now, we've read these scriptures before, mm -hmm. but in both of these settings of scripture, Jesus is beginning his earthly ministry. Amen. And he preaches and tells the people to repent. 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 The kingdom of heaven has arrived, mm -hmm. or is at hand, hand, or it has returned. Right. His message is the kingdom of heaven has arrived back in the earth. Amen. And his first word is repent, which means to change your thinking mm -hmm. or the way that you've been conditioned, conditioned to think. Wow. Then he came to restore righteousness and holiness mm -hmm. of mankind. Our die. Can you read 
the second Corinthians 5. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you are not there. It's a family affair. So if I say I'm not, I'm talking about Sister Diane. We're going to read 2 Corinthians 5, verses 12 through 21. Amen. Amen. And this is from the NIV version. I want you to turn to it as well. And it reads, we are not trying to commend ourselves to you again, but are giving you an opportunity to take pride in us so that you can answer those who take pride in what is seen rather than, in what, rather than what is in the heart. Amen. If we are out of our mind, it is for the sake of God. If we are in our minds, it is for you. For Christ's love compels us because we are convinced that once died for all, and therefore all die. And he died for all that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. Amen. So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Mm -hmm. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, mm -hmm. he is a new creation. Mm -hmm. The old has gone, the new has come. Mm -hmm. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ mm -hmm. and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. That God was reconciling the world to himself mm -hmm. through Christ, not counting men's sins against him. Mm -hmm. And he has committed to us the message mm -hmm. of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors. Mm -hmm. As to God was making his appeal through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to, for us so that in him we might be the righteousness of God. Amen. 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 So verse 17 says, if any man is in Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. he is what? A, a new, new creature. creature. Brand new, new creation. creation. All things have passed away mm -hmm. because everything became new. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then in verse 21, it says that we are the righteousness yes. of God righteousness. in Christ Jesus. Amen. Now, righteousness is a very important word. And you should write that down if you're taking notes or commit it to memory if you mm -hmm. want to. That we need to understand because he's telling us that's who we are. Yes. That's who we are yes. now. Yes. So what does righteousness mean? Well, let's first talk about what it ain't. What it ain't. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It doesn't mean, righteousness doesn't mean to wear long gowns mm -hmm. and robes mm -hmm. or crosses around your neck mm -hmm. or turbans on your head to make you look like wow. you're religious. Mm -hmm. wow. And a lot of people think that. And they yeah. think that. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you can't wear makeup or you must wear your hair back in the bun. Come mm -hmm. on. It doesn't mean that you can't clip the ends of your hair or cut it. Or cut it. You, you know how yeah. people think that. Yeah. They think yeah. you're not supposed to cut your hair. Right. Meanwhile, they have dead and split ends on their head. I wonder why their head not growing. Right. But that's another topic. <laughs> it doesn't mean you can't wear red. Wow. We were talking about that last week. Wow. The word righteous means to be realigned properly with mm -hmm. authority. That's right. Let me say that again. The mm -hmm. word righteous means to be realigned mm -hmm. properly with authority. Mm -hmm. Righteousness means to be in right position. Mm -hmm. And to be properly positioned with authority so you can receive from that authority. That's right. Yeah. Right alignment. And right yeah. alignment. Yeah. That's what righteousness means, yeah. simply. So Jesus came to put us back in the right relationship mm -hmm. or the right position with the authority in God's kingdom yeah. so we can obtain and enjoy the privileges of God's rulership in our lives. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He came to restore that to mm -hmm. us. Holiness is the other component of his work, mm -hmm. and that is the word for purity, mm -hmm. but it also means pure in motive. Right. Mm -hmm. So holiness means 
there's not any schizophrenia in your life mm -hmm. Amen. where you're Amen. saying one thing mm -hmm. and doing something else mm -hmm. or you're wow. one way in church on Sunday and mm -hmm. as soon as Monday comes around mm -hmm. you forgot about who you are you have an alter ego something right. you like to say right. Wow. Right. You know, right. there's no schizophrenia in your life mm -hmm. with holiness Amen. what you say and what you do are the same that's, right. that's, right. Amen. that's right. what holiness integrity. means yeah. integrity, integrity. Yeah. in other words the word integrity can be used for holiness mm -hmm. because it means to be pure that's right. holy Amen. means to be pure mm -hmm. there's no ulterior, ulterior motive in your life mm -hmm. and what you see is exactly what who you, you are and what right. you get Come on. that's holiness Mm -hmm. Holiness means to be pure from the inside out and from the outside in. Yeah, Amen. Right. Amen. Yeah. What you say is what you live, mm -hmm. and what you live is what you are and mm -hmm. what you say. Mm -hmm. It's holy. That's right. That's what holiness is, and that's what Jesus Christ came back, came to restore us back to. Christ mm -hmm. came again mm -hmm. to give us back a holy heart mm -hmm. so we can be pure people like mm -hmm. our Father in Amen. heaven. Yeah. Amen. 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 He then came to restore mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we're going to ask, I'm going to ask Brother Aaron, my mm -hmm. father, to read Luke 11, verses 5 through 13. Okay. Luke 11, mm -hmm. 5 through 13. And again, you go there at home as well. So Amen. You can read along Amen. with us. Amen. Luke 11, 5 through 13. And it reads as such. And he said unto them, which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him, friend, lend me three loaves for a friend of mine in his journey is come to me and I have nothing to set before him. And he from within shall answer and say, trouble me not. The door is now shut and my children are in, are in with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him, because he is his friend, yet because of his import, importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he needed. Mm -hmm. And I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given to you. Uh -huh. Seek, and ye shall find. Yes. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Right. For everyone that asketh, receive it. Yes. And he that seeketh, find it. Mm -hmm. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Mm -hmm. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Mm -hmm. Or if he asks a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Mm -hmm. Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, mm -hmm. how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask mm, him? Wow. Mm, mm, mm. That's powerful. That's powerful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Here, Jesus is talking to his disciples, and he's saying, it's my Father's pleasure to give you the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. if you ask for it. Wow. wow. As a matter of fact, that statement is made in regards to a question about the kingdom. Mm -hmm. They asked him about the kingdom, and he said, the kingdom of God is for you. Mm -hmm. It's for you. Amen. He says, which of you having children, if they ask you for bread, will you give them a stone? Right. Or if they ask you for an egg, would you give them a scorpion? Amen. He said, of course not. You wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. He says, even the Father, mm -hmm. if you ask him for the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. he will give you the Holy Spirit. Amen. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is the key to the kingdom. Amen. Amen. It's the key to the kingdom. And we Amen. talked about that extensively, extensively yes. yeah. in our last That's series. Right. He is the access, the Holy Spirit is the access to the kingdom of God. Mm. As a matter of fact, in the last series, we found out that the Holy Spirit is the manifestation of the kingdom of God. Amen. Wow. So Jesus mm -hmm. came to restore the Holy Spirit back into mankind. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to say something else right now, mm -hmm. and it might ruffle some feathers. Go ahead. Go ahead. But we're not afraid because it's Go true. Ahead. That's, That's right. right. Amen. That's right. The greatest act of Jesus was not Calvary. Mm -hmm. okay. The greatest act of Jesus was not Calvary. Mm -hmm. See, many of us 
center our faith on Calvary, not me anymore, not mm -hmm. for those who choose right. anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. right. But what Jesus did at Calvary was necessary. But again, mm -hmm. it wasn't his greatest act. That's, That's right. right. That's right. It was just a means to an end. To an end. Yes. That's what it Amen. was. Calvary is the mechanism that God used to cleanse you and I to make us holy temples mm -hmm. so that we can be recipients or the, so that we can mm -hmm. receive right. the Holy Spirit. Because mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit cannot dwell in a temple mm -hmm. that's filled with sin. Right. That's right. Come on. He can't. Or unclean. So, or unclean. Right. so Jesus had to go to the cross and use Calvary as a mechanism mm -hmm. to cleanse us and to right. make us holy temples. Wow. Sin was our problem, and there is no eradication of sin without blood. Without the blood. Without the blood. blood. Now, we're going to read two more settings of scriptures. I'm going to ask Brother Aaron again if you can read for us Leviticus 17. Mm. And then we're going to read right after that Hebrews 9, verses 16 through 22. Amen. Leviticus 17, 17 and 11. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm. And you go there all to, also to Leviticus 17 and 11. And it reads as such. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Amen. Amen. In Amen. Hebrews 9, uh, 16. 16 through 22. Okay. <laughs> Hebrews 9, right? Mm -hmm. Verses 16, 16 through 22. 22. Okay. And it says... But where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. For a testament is a force after men are dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the testator liveth. Whereupon neither the first testament was dedicated without blood. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law, he took the blood and calves and of goats with water and scarlet wool and hyssop and sprinkled both the book and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the testament which God hath enjoined unto you. Moreover, he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without shedding of blood, there is no remission. No remission, remission of sin. That's right. Amen. 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 Now, everybody say blood. 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 These two scriptures are telling us that without the shedding of blood, mm -hmm. there's no remission of sin. Amen. So in order for us to get rid of sin, we needed blood. Amen. Because Amen. After, after Adam ate the apple and the fall of mankind happened it said mm -hmm. it said that we were born into sin, sin. and shaped, shaped in iniquity. iniquity right so we needed blood to get rid of it Amen. Amen. the Amen. act of calvary was to to provide the atoning work mm -hmm. or the blood work mm -hmm. so god could forgive our sins Amen. not ignore them mm -hmm. Come but on. forgive them That's right. That's right. see god does not ignore sin mm -hmm. God deals with sin. Amen. And the way that you deal with sin is mm -hmm. by cleansing it. That's right. Amen. That's right. And Amen. in order to cleanse it, you have to pay the price mm -hmm. that sin demands. Right. And sin demands two things. Two things. Two things. Count one, two. One, two. One, two. It, it requires blood mm -hmm. and death. Amen. And you know what? And Jesus did both of them. Oh, Amen. Because when Israel would mess up, Mm -hmm. What they would do, they would have sacrificial offerings, yeah. right. dove offerings, pigeon offerings, right. lamb offerings, yeah. and they had feasts of wheat, feasts of other right. bread, all right. that stuff. But 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 all that did was pacify God. Right. It didn't satisfy God. Do you know how you give a baby a pacifier to put in their mouth to keep them quiet mm -hmm. until you get the real thing? Yes. Well, right. Jesus was the real thing. Yeah. Jesus yeah. came yeah. by himself. <laughs> right. He came with himself. He came for right. himself. Right. And then he sacrificed himself 
as the final sacrificial lamb offering. Yes. After Jesus, there was no more need for any kind of right. pacifier. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And only yes. Jesus could be do, do it because only his blood could do it. Come on. Your right. blood couldn't do it. That's no Bishop, even though Bishop is good, her blood couldn't good do it. Right. Her blood that's certainly couldn't right. do it. So right. blood couldn't do it. Right. Nene, right. speak, Sister Deborah, Sister Cook, not all put together. None of us could None. do it. Right. It had to be the blood Ooh, of Yeshua Jesus. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah. Wash away the sin. They a signature. What can wash, wash away, away my sin? sin. Nothing but, but the blood, blood of Jesus. Jesus. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. 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 So again, Christ provided both of those for us. Right. He Amen. provided blood and he Amen. provided that at Calvary. That's right. And when he did that, he made us holy and pure again so that we could receive Amen. the Holy Spirit. Amen. Just like Amen. Adam had Amen. back in the garden. Oh, boy. Everybody say receive. 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 The word seize means to have. To have. It Amen. means to have. Mm -hmm. So to receive means to have again. Amen. To Amen. have it again. Come on, yeah. So we Jesus. used to have him, the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. and Adam lost him in the garden. Mm -hmm. We lost him during the fall of mankind, but guess what? Jesus came to redeem us, mm -hmm. and now, because of the blood work, yes, we can receive the Holy Spirit wow. again. Wow. wow. Isn't that news. awesome? That's, That's good news. That is good news. That's good news. <laughs> <laughs> See, the Bible says the kingdom of God is love, joy, and peace. And the Holy Spirit, or some people Spirit. say the Holy Ghost. That's right. Amen. So if you don't have the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. you don't have the kingdom of God. Amen. Mm. Wow. Wow. Any religion without the Holy Ghost is not the kingdom. Amen. Right. Amen. Mm. Amen. So we need to know that his main goal was to get that spirit, his spirit, the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, back, back in us. That's right. That was his get main back. goal. Back. So the resurrection was in not you. enough. And in you, yeah. that's, right. that's right. So the resurrection was not enough. And Calvary itself was not that's enough. Not enough. It's getting that Holy Spirit mm -hmm. back in us. Mm -hmm. That was the key. Amen. 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 Let's read uh, John 20. Sister Diane, I'm going to call you Sister Diane. <laughs> <laughs> Let's read John 20. You want to read John 20, uh, verses 19 through 21. Again, and you turn to it as well. Amen. Yes, amen. And it reads, on the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the door locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hand and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Mm. Again, Jesus said, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. Mm. Amen. 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 Mm. Now, see, in this setting of scripture, we find out that getting the Holy Spirit back into mankind was so important to Jesus mm -hmm. that the first thing he did after he rose from the dead mm. was call a meeting with all of his disciples. Mm -hmm. And he walked mm -hmm. through the wall and said, be of good cheer. Mm -hmm. It's mm. done. It's finished. finished. It's finished. I'm going mm. to the Father mm. and to my Father and your Father, to mm. my God and your God. Wow. Then the Bible says he went to each one of them mm -hmm. and he did what? He, he breathed on them mm -hmm. and said, receive, receive. the Holy Spirit. Right, right. That was his greatest act. When he breathed on them, mm -hmm. he gave them the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit back. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. He wow. gave them the Holy Spirit wow. back. Mm -hmm. He breathed mm -hmm. on them mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit and said, receive. Mm. And guess what? This is the same act that God did in the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. Mm. You don't believe me? Let's go there. Let's read it. Let's read it so you know we're not making this stuff up. Right, right. Mm. Let's go to Genesis, sis, mm. uh, sister die. <laughs> <laughs> Genesis, chapter 2. Verse 7. Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. And it reads, 
the Lord God formed the man mm -hmm. from the dust of the ground mm -hmm. and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. See, he carved the body of the man mm. from the Oof. dust. And then he he breathed into man Amen. the breath of life, wow, the wow, Holy wow. Spirit. Wow. Man lost that breath of the Holy Spirit when he sinned. And now yeah. here's the creator doing it one more time. Wow. One more time. Wow. So you so that scripture says mm. I could receive it right away. I don't have to wait and sit in church and uh -oh. and tarry. And tarry. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And tarry. roll across the floor. Uh -oh. The word tarry means wait. wait. Uh, come right. on, uh -oh. don't have to wait. Mm -hmm. We can receive it. Uh -oh. We can receive it. If I ask. If I ask. Right. Okay. That's exactly come what he's come saying. Him. I'm going to pop that right. 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 And, and, and you, can, you can, you you know that's true because. Right. You just said the word seed means have. have. That's right. So we, the prefix re means again. Uh, yeah. So yeah. if he says receive, that means that you had it before. If you have to have it again. Right. And if you right. tell a child, I want you to rewrite this paper. Mm -hmm. right. That means they've already written right. the paper. Come on. Right. Exactly. But I want you to write it again for punctuation, for spelling, right. for right. 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 for grammar. Right. They've already done it before, right. but I want you to rewrite it. Right. Right. So we've already had it before, so we have to get it again. Amen. 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 So like you said, you don't have to I go. don't have to wait. No. I don't have to tarry. No. Right. No. All I have to receive, That's and right. I can have it. You can ask. He said, ask. Ask. Oh. Mm -hmm. He said, he said, you who are evil know how to give good gifts Come to Come on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Right. So my father oh, in heaven, heaven. Who's a good father right. a benevolent king? Come on. Why would he withhold a good thing from you? He said it's my good pleasure, pleasure. the father's good pleasure, pleasure. to give yeah, you yeah. the Holy Spirit. Right. Right. And I remember it's been I've I've encountered so many people where they've been like, Oh, I haven't gotten the Holy Ghost, and people made mm -hmm. them feel bad because yes. they yes. haven't received the Holy Spirit. Right. And they go through all these things and they're like, Well. If I don't really have the Holy Spirit, am I really saved and all right. this other type of stuff? Mm -hmm. But he said, guess what? If you ask, come on now. You can receive, you can receive it. You right. don't have to go through all of that all stuff. Right. I remember lock-ins, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah. You can't leave. Lock-ins, oh, you can't leave. They come on, laying Lisa. next to you on the floor. You falling <laughs> asleep, waking back up. Oh, come on, Now people yelling. Come on, really? 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 Really it's like, you know, when Jesus told, was telling Nicodemus, it's like the wind. You don't know which way it's going. Right. 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 Yes. Right. So we don't know. We don't right. know that. But if I ask God for it, yes. and I receive it, mm -hmm. all I have to believe it and have believe. faith in his mind. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. yes. That's right. Amen. 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 Okay. 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 I told you this was exciting. Y'all better go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Sister Cook, when I was, um, a Catholic in Pembroke. <laughs> <laughs> we should sing this song. The wind blows wherever it will blows where it goes. Nobody knows but we who are born of the spirit. spirit. Like the wind, we are what? We are free. Hallelujah. Like the wind, we are free. We are free. Like the Woo! Yes. You are free. Like the wind. Free. We are free. 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 And who the set free? It's free. God didn't put us in no bondage. No, no he didn't. You know, he said, all you have to do is ask. That's ask. right. He said, if you ask my father, he's better than these heathens out here. If you yes. ask them, yes. you know, he's going to give you what you ask for. Mm -hmm. And yes. especially if it's dealing with the kingdom of God, which is his yes. God. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Wow, this is Ooh. good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to sit in this chair. Yeah. Like, <laughs> please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, go ahead, Amen. That's right. 
So again, man lost that breath of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. when he sinned. And now he is the creator doing it one, one more time. time. He's putting back in man what man used to have, which was the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is our connection to heaven. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the link between the seen and the unseen realm. Mm -hmm. He's the mediator between the earthly realm and the invisible or the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. He is the contact with the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is our kingdom contact. And without him, there is no contact with the kingdom mm -hmm. of God at all. Come on, man. That's why it's so important. Mm -hmm. That is why the first person you receive when you are born again mm -hmm. is the Holy Spirit. Come on, say it. The first person you receive. The first thing. That's why Jesus told Nicodemus in John 3, Except a man be born, born into again. the Spirit, right. he cannot enter the kingdom of God right. because the Spirit is the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and manifested for it. Amen. Wow. Amen. 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 Guess what? My time is up, mm. but I thank you for yours. Amen. 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 And continue with this topic, understanding the nature of the kingdom. We're gonna pick it back up next week. Don't miss it. Tune back in because this is yes. exciting and it's life changing. And once you yes. find out the truth, the truth makes you free. free. Amen. 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 It makes you free. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Ooh. Now let's move into our open forum discussion. Are there any questions from our audience? Now's the time if you have any questions, please place them in the chat function. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. So, well, we're going to end the session on that note. Mm -hmm. Now, if you miss any of the prior sessions from our Sunday series, I strongly, strongly urge you to go back, go all the way back and watch all of them. Yeah. They are all still saved on Facebook on, yeah. on our page. You can access them from the website at www.ftwcinc.org. Let me say that again. Yeah. It's www.ftwcinc.org. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and see all of our videos there. Amen? Amen. Now, remember to join us each Sunday at 3 p.m for continued studies. May you be transformed by the renewing of your mind mm -hmm. so that you will know the good, acceptable, and, and the amen. perfect will of God. Amen. 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 Now for the final thing we want to remind you today is that Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. Amen. amen. Glory be to God. God bless you. Amen. See you next week. Amen. 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 Be blessed. Awesome.